Hello, good evening. Hello, Nubia, are you there? Hello. Good night, teacher. Hey, Sara. Hi. How are you? Una vez. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally. That's that's Bye. good. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Primera vez puntual. <laughs> Primera vez, puntual, el tráfico me dejó pasar. Ah, de veras, no hubo tanto tráfico. Pues un poco, pero a pesar de que es viernes a veces. Uh, sí, se, se torna un tanto pesado, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto generalmente hace de su casa al trabajo y viceversa? Yo de Santa Tecla, eh, cuando voy, uh -huh. una hora, hora, hora 15, hora 10. Pero cuando vengo, dos horas. Dos horas. Jue. Pero supongo que es, es más que todo por el tráfico, ¿verdad? Es por el tráfico. Porque, ah, supongo, no, pero... ajá, porque supongo que no está tan lejos, tan lejos el trabajo, ¿o sí? Yo vivo en Sonsonate y el trabajo está en Santa Tecla. Ah, ah sí. Más o menos, entonces. Entonces, ah, este, yes. el tráfico bajando los chorros el que cuesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Como siempre, ahí los chorros. Sí, los chorros. Ah, yes. Un carro que se quede medio varado ya se hace. El gran tráfico, sí. El gran tráfico. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Ok, but the other ones are coming. Sí, siempre, siempre. So, a veces cuando, uh, a veces ha tocado ir hasta por Santa Ana y a veces mm -hmm. se pasa y eso es horrible. Qué Dios. Sí. Y lo más triste es a veces pasarlo a, me, a mediodía también. Te a mediodía. Bien, Ajá, sí. Sí, pero... Sí, de acá hasta por Santa Ana son como cinco horas de viaje, más o menos. Se va por el lado de la carretera de, de oro. Sí, sí. Salir allá por el desvío de, de, de Pico. No. Ajá, también, también. No, aunque, aunque a mí me sale más, más factible por la, a, la litoral. Ah, por eso. Uh -huh. ah, pues, that's why. Ahí. Yes, yeah. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, y por, eso, por la Panamericana no tanto, porque como está en construcción, son horas en tráfico ahí. Mm. Yeah. Ah, pues sí. Yeah, not that much. Que la paz de Cristo vaya con nosotros. <laughs> así es, así es. <laughs> ok, so, good evening, Eric. Good evening, Giovanni. Carla. Flor. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Eric. How was how was your day? Good evening, Joanny. Hi. Hi. Mm, so so. So so. Really? So so. Nice. Uh, that's yes. Good. That's good. That's good. Uh, para qué me quejo? Para qué me? Trabajo andado buscando. No sirve quejarse, verdad? Nah. Ah, lo importante es que ya mañana es sábado, a mediodía salgo y, y en teoría descanso en la tarde. Thanks, thanks God you finish at 12 at noon. In my mm. case, in my case, tomorrow I finish working at five from eight to five. Uh, pero en in, in, in your case is is for for hours. Uh, uh, eight hours. hours. Eight hours. Eight and, hours. Uh, but but uh, from uh, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, is it the time? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the thing is that I start working from eight to twelve, one row. From then I have the break, the lunch time, one hour, and then I start from one to five. Yeah, uh, eight hours. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit complicated. But you know, if you like what you do, 
you don't feel it that hard. That's why I think, I think it, it, it's good. It's good. Yes. Yeah, so even though it's like, exactly, exactly. Even though like, like sometimes it's hard when you have to go from one place to another. For example, today, today was a hard day for me because I went to Usulutan downtown to, to drop off my, my, my wife because she works in, in, in the hospital there. So I get there to, to live there. And then I had to go to Santiago de Maria. That's like pretty far from here, from, from Usulutan, uh, to teach in there until 12. Then I had to go back to, to Usulutan downtown in the center. And then I had to go to San Miguel, to San Miguel downtown, because I went to, to pick up some constancias from Centros Penales and all those things because I need it. And then I had to go back to Usulatan to pick up my wife and then come back here, home. A, a good trip. Bro. Yeah, good trip. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, like, like right now, like to teach, you know. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's like but... tiring, but interesting, the trip. But Chilton is, is cool. Algo fresco. Ajá, sure. <laughs> Oiga. Yo iba ahí a, fresco, a, a Usulután, <laughs> iba allá en la, por la calle Grimaldi. Ahí por ah, la cocha van iba. Ajá. Entonces, ah, este, cool. trabajaba en otra empresa y, y una vez que no servía el aire acondicionado en la tienda, eh, no aguantaba el dolor de cabeza, me dio como insolación. Y tuve que agarrar una bolsita de agua helada y literalmente bañarme o mojarme porque ya no aguantaba. Y al, y al, al, al carro que andaba esa vez no le servía el aire. Yo venía desesperado. Y lo peor es que cuando usted saca la cabeza para que le dé algo de aire, el aire es como vapor caliente. That's the good thing. Me quemó el pelo, mire pues. Oh my, God, oh my God, No, sí, no, es bastante, acá es, esta zona es bastante, es bastante caliente. Por ejemplo, uh, yo vivo en zona limítrofe, pero eh, igual es San Miguel, pero a mí me toca igual ir a trabajar a Usulután y, y pues, uh -huh. sí, Usulután también es like, hot, super hot. Yes. Fíjese que yo he tenido por cuestiones de trabajo de, de mi área, yes. he tenido la oportunidad de andar en otros países así, centroamericanos, pero. Yes. Y eh, donde sí me desesperé fue en Panamá, porque es caliente como San Miguel, pero hay mucha humedad y de repente se vienen unas tormentas y mm. eso lejos de refrescar, es eh, así usted veía Super. el vapor. Yeah, you super, are... super horrible. Oh my God. And I can't. Yo una vez por tal de andar conociendo, este, empecé a caminar. Terminé pidiendo un Uber porque ya sentía que ya, ya no, was... por, por el lado de la costa. Yes. Bien, insoportable. You were like so. <laughs> sí. oh, eh, yo prefiero it's el like clima fresco. Kind of hot. Yeah, it's better. It's better. A way better, mucho mejor. Vamos a ir a buscar ahí unas parcelas a Chalatenango. <risa> no, mire, el lado de, Ch de Chela en Guatemala, en Quetzaltenango. Oh, Yo lo ah, disfrutaba. Ya. La zona del lago. Riquísimo, riquísimo. Sí, eh, ahí es otra, otro, otro sí, nivel. Otro nivel. Yeah. Ahí sí. Ahí cuando, cuando se siente frío en San Salvador, ellos sienten calor allá. Porque están acostumbrados al clima más fresco. Yes, yeah. Algún día en San Miguel, algún día. <laughs> okay, okay. In the meantime, let, let's start because it's like 10, I mean, 8 or 10. So we're going to start. Ah, Fatima is here. Hi, Fatima. 
Ah, por ahí estaban diciendo, Fátima, que no se conectó ayer solo para no participar en la actividad. No, así, ¿quién dijo? ¿Quién así, dijo eso? A, no. así, que, así que dejamos todo el espacio reservado para que usted este, pues, nos dé la explicación. No, yes. no, teacher, no, tuve un día de trabajo súper, súper cansado. De eso ah, de bueno. reunión de Uf. dos horas, tres horas. My God. Ya. So that's why. Okay, Fatima, I was kidding, Fatima, no problem. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's see, Ana Claribel, mm, she's not here yet, right? Ana Maria, not here. Diana Gabriela, hmm, not here. Es lo que hoy es viernes. <laughs> Eric Guillermo. Present, y el cuerpo uh, lo sabe. <laughs> yes, yes. Ever de Jesús. Present. Hi, Mr. Uh, Fátima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Okay. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, Flor. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gilmar Cruz. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. Um, Jonathan Alexander. Mm, Jonathan has not connected. Carla Benacir. Present teacher. Okay, good. Natalie Vanessa. Ah, she always come late. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Romeo Alexis. He's not here. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Where is Rosa? Ah, yeah. No la veía rosa. Qué barbaridad. Qué barbaridad. No, lo que pasa es que tengo pequeñas las cuadrículas. Ya las voy a hacer más grandes para que aparezca aquí la the picture. Yes. No, sí, mire, ya se ve, ya se ve más emocionada, rosa. Miren, o sea, la, la expresión en su cara ya no es como que tengo sueño. Supongo que tuve un día tranquilo, rosa. I guess. Sí, bastante. Ah, that's why. Con razón. Mucho mejor que los días atrás. Ah, that's why. That's why. <laughs> Roxana Yesenia. It's not here, right? Salvador Alfonso. Uh, Salvador. That, yeah, not here yet. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Sara. Good. Stephanie Lisette. Hmm, she's not here. William Alberto, neither William, right? Joanny Noemi. No Present teacher. Ah, yeah, children. Okay, and the last one, but not least one, is Stephanie Janet. Present teacher. Just a tiempo. <laughs> Just on time. Okay, good. All right, people, I want you with your cameras on. Let's start the class. Uh, today, teacher, uh, teacher present. <laughs> okay, who says present? Give me Tengo a second. Problemas con el ah, Joanny, sí, sí, no, pero le escuché, Joanny. Ah, vaya, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, no problem. I got you here. Okay, uh, give me a second. Oh, what is it? What is this? Ah. Accidentalmente saqué la, la presentación. It's here. Today we are going to have a very interesting topic. You know why? Porque es un tema que hemos estado viendo en el pasado. If you remember this topic, it will seem like very familiar to you. Uh, so remember, this is the video conference number seven, and today's topic is going to be simple present information questions. Okay, para muchos ha de ser un tema que, pues, digamos, no es tan desconocido porque en el módulo pasado eh, estuvimos discutiendo este este tema bastante. Ahora, eh, digamos que no lo vamos a ver de una manera más a profundidad, ok, but we're going to practice with this. Vamos a estar practicando preguntas y respuestas 
con esta estructura. Like the good thing about this is that we are not going to be practicing um, a lot of uh, WH words. Just we are going to be practicing two, just two WH words. Do you remember the WH word, people? What are the WH words? Can somebody tell me what are the WH words? Where? What? What? Why? Ah, very Why? good. Excellent. Today, we are just going to be practicing what and where. Those, just two of them. But in first person and third person, that's going to be the difference, okay? That we're going to apply them in first person and third person. We're gonna uh, practice a conversation. And of course, we are going to do some exercises in the manual. So that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. So let's start with, with the class agenda for like, like the most important topics or points in this class. The first thing that we are going to do is to have a review from the previous class. So let's uh, remember what were we discussing yesterday in the class. The second thing that we are going to be doing is, Sara, read for me, please. Hi, teacher. Read, read the second, the second uh, sentence. Prevention, question, introduction, and structure. Okay, structure, repeat. Structure. structure. Yes, very good, thank you, Sara. Yeah, the information introduction, I mean, information question, introduction and a structure. We are going to review again the structure of those uh, type of things. Then we're gonna have some examples. After the examples, we are going to do some exercises. And after the exercises, we are going to have a short conversation practice. Okay, as always, after the conversation, we are going to work in the manual, right? Estos son como los puntos entonces más uh, sobresalientes para la clase de eh, esta noche. That's pretty much what we are going to be doing. Hey, but yeah, that's true. No sé por qué siempre cada viernes es la media de estudiantes que hay entre 10, 12 <laughs> todavía a esta hora. I don't know why, I mean, <laughs> Leila Kaeri. Nah, Eri. Ah. ¿Por qué será, John? John. Bien, teacher. <laughs> ok. Ey, pero se escucha medio raro, Jonathan. No, no, no. Lo que pasa es que hay personas acá en la casa. <laughs> ah, ok, Jonathan. I was kidding. <laughs> ok. All right. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, half of, of the class is missing. Falta, let me see, 12. 21, nine people. Hmm. Well, let's see. Probablemente se van a conectar más tarde. And I hope so. Okay, let's start uh, talking about what we were discussing yesterday. What was the topic from yesterday? Can somebody tell me what was the topic? Any volunteer? Any volunteer people? What was yesterday? topic was industry vocabulary. Ah, okay. Industry vocabulary. Ah. Yeah, yesterday we were focusing the most uh, on talking about industry vocabulary, right? The most of it. What uh, were those words or what was that vocabulary? Can can you mention one of them, uh, Mrs. Janet? ¿Qué dijo, teacher? ¿Podría, por favor, uh, mencionarme uno, un, una palabra o una frase de la, del vocabulario que estuvimos compartiendo ayer? Related to the, to the industry? Mm. The, the beauty and... Building, building what? Mm, 
que me dicho, yo me perdí. De, ¿Dónde es? El industry Vocabulary. Yes, yes. De Automotive eh, de, de Packaging Industry. Ok, Packaging Industry. All right. Or the other one, Automotive Industry. Ok, eh, the Automotive Industry. Uh, sí. what, what companies are included in the automotive company? Uh, Carla? Uh, the automotive industry? Uh -huh, yeah, what companies can we include in that industry? Um... Ajá, Carla. Sí. Um, eh, industria automovilística. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿Y qué compañías pueden, pueden, pueden ir en esa, en esa industria, en ese tipo de industria? Uh, Which companies? Excel Automotriz. Ah, yeah, that's one of them. Uh, eh, uh -huh. Grupo Q. Ah, ok, that's another one. Very good, mm -hmm. Carla. Thank you. Uh, Eric, mention another uh, industry vocabulary, the ones that we were practicing yesterday. Um, textile. 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 Uh -huh. textile. All right. Textile industry. All right. Hilmar, give me another one. Yeah. Telecommunication. Telecommunication industry. Okay, telecommunication industry. Uh, beverage okay. industry. Okay, beverage industry. Very good. Thank you, Hilmer. Uh, let's see, Joanny. In beverage industry, what company or which group of companies can we include? Joanny? No, nah, okay, okay. Hola. But in the uh, beverage, in the, okay, in the beverage company, I mean, industry, what companies can we include in that category? Textile. Be no, beverage industry. Do you remember um, about that one? Tourist eh, industry? Uh, no, Joanny, Joanny. Uh, que si, ¿Qué compañías van eh, en esa categoría de beverage industry? Um, Coca-Cola. Ah, Coca-Cola. Okay, very good. What else? Um, la Constancia. Mm -hmm, okay, La Constancia. Very good, Joanny. But la, consta la constancia is, is, is from El Salvador? Pure, pure Salvadorian? Yes. Yeah, right. Or, or no? Yes. Because it's, it's, it's like Salvador. A, that's that's the, the headquarter in San Salvador? Se, se supone que habían vendido acciones a Brasil. Por eso aquí se estuvo haciendo la cerveza brava, ¿qué que se llama? Ah. Mm -hmm. Really? Creo so que they... es compartida, creo que es compartida. Ah, uh, ok. La no. brava. La pina. <ríe> bueno, la brava sí venía de, ah, no, de México. La Pepsi la tenía. Los dueños okay. americanos. Ah, really? Interesting. Did I know that? That's cool. That's really nice. Vamos a probar unas bravas con Eric. No, se va a hacer enojado. Ya, te, ya, te, ya tengo tres aquí en la casa. ¿Para qué quiero más? <risa> Why do you want more, right? Ya, yeah, ya tengo una aquí también, así que. Nah, nah. It's enough, enough, suficiente. <risa> no, Oye, es, 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 si eso dice de las señoras de sus casas, ¿qué no dirán de uno? Ah, no, no, no. No, that's different. Yeah. The thing is that we know what, what we have in our houses, right, Eric? Yes, of course. 
ya. Mira, Hilmar, pues solo ve ahí, Hilmar, no opina. Right, Hilmar? Hola. <risa> no voy a hacer. Ah, Todo okay. lo que diga puede ser usado no, en tu no. contra, dice Hilmar. No voy a hacer que pase una taza ahí volando. <risa> una taza voladora. Exactly. No comments about it, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, let's let, let's continue. Un, un cacerolazo. <laughs> okay, that, that, that must be different. No, así que así estamos bien. You're okay like that. Okay, let's let's continue with uh, with the topic for for today. Uh, the simple present information question. Okay, let's start with this. Uh, Luvia, help me on reading this, please. Information questions are used to ask specific information about a person, place, or situation. Not okay. It's just to ask information or a specific information about a person, a structure, a work, a place, or a situation. Okay. So it's just to just to know more uh, uh, specific information about something. So uh, let's 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 say some examples. Okay, we got this this question. Uh, let's see, uh, Fatima, help me read in this question, please. I didn't listen, Fatima. Repeat the question, please. Where do you work? Ah, okay. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah. So in that case, if you take a look in there, we are asking a specific information. And what is the question about? In that case, what are we asking? Or what are we requesting in that question? We are requesting a specific location or a specific company. Okay. In that case, where the person work. So if I ask ever that, that question, ever, where do you work? What will be your answer ever? I work in a family company. There you go. I work in a family company. If ever, remember, remember that. If ever doesn't want to be very specific with the name of the company, he can even mention the place, the location, okay, where he works. Example. Um, let's see who can help me out with this. Flor, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> read that question for me. Lea esa pregunta como si me la estuviese haciendo a mí. ¿Cuál, teacher? <laughs> mm -hmm. La... So Yes, that ah, one. La, where do you work? Yes, yes, that one. Where, where do you work? Ah, okay, very good. So, si yo no quiero mencionar el nombre de la empresa donde yo trabajo, I can say, ah, I work in Usulután. I work in San Miguel. You see, I, that, I mean, it's not necessary for me to answer with the name, with the specific name of the company, okay? Ahora bien, si me hacen la pregunta, what is your company's name? In that case, yeah, I have to be very specific with the name of the company, okay? For example, uh, 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 let's see, who's not Rosa, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, Rosa. What is the name? Listen up. What is the name of your company? Um, the name. My company is Rosa. Ah, okay. Very good. In that case, she's being very specific. Okay. But the only difference, the only difference with that question is that I use the verb be. Okay. La única diferencia con ese tipo de preguntas más específicas es que usamos el verbo to be, ¿ok? To mention the name, ¿ok? 
Okay, or I can do it like differently. I can use the word which. For example, which company, listen up, which company do you work in? Now, es la misma pregunta, pero con diferente estructura. Y ahí ya no uso el verbo to be. Which company do you work in? ¿En cuál compañía o en cuál empresa trabaja? You see, in that case, what can she say? Uh, I work in Sera Saprosa, as she said, right? So that's pretty different. Ahí sí estamos preguntando por el nombre específico de la empresa. Okay. All right, let's continue. So take a look at this. So we can put it like that. All right, I work in Super Selector. Just remember. Recordemos entonces que tenemos dos maneras de contestar a ese tipo de preguntas. Where do you work? Ah, podemos mencionar el nombre de la empresa or podemos mencionar la locación nada más. Okay? The place where the company is. Next question. Uh, Roxana, read the question. What does she do okay very good thank you roxana what does okay. she do if you take a look in there generally the verb of this type of questions goes at the end okay generalmente el verbo principal de este tipo de estructura o esta pregunta siempre va al final okay the main verb or verbo principal okay let's see the answer Hmm. Natalie. Por venir tarde, Natalie. Answer the question. Qué malo, teacher, porque conmigo es así. Answer the question, Natalie. Ok. ¿Cuál sería? No. Eh, the last one, the last one. Ok. She supervises the production department. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yeah. She supervises, ok. The production department. So that is the function. Remember, and I must say this in Spanish for you to understand better. Cuando mencionamos o cuando hacemos esta pregunta, what does she do? O what do you do? Generalmente en otro tipo de contexto con otro verbo, generalmente mencionamos el mismo verbo en la respuesta. Pero acá es una pregunta abierta. It is an open question. ¿En qué aspecto? Que dependiendo de lo que nosotros hagamos, ese es el tipo de respuesta que vamos a dar. Ok. Example. Uh, if I ask Fátima. Fátima. What do you do? Listen up. What do you do? In your company. I, I do. No, I auxiliar uh, account. No, Fátima. Eh, ¿Cuál es una de sus funciones que usted hace? O sea, así de manera general, no, no la más principal, pero dependiendo de lo que usted haga, así es el tipo de verbo que me va a dar. Mention just one I... thing that you do. Ajá, I. I make reports financial, no sé. Yo I... hago reporte financiero. Okay, I make financial reports. I make financial reports. There you go. Okay, dependiendo de, co, de qué es la función que ella hace, you see, ese es el verbo que va a dar en la respuesta. So, ustedes me pueden preguntar, ah, teacher, what do you do in your work? Yo les puedo decir, I teach English. Why? Porque esa es mi función principal teach. You see? Entonces, no necesariamente se va a responder con el verbo do en ese tipo de eh, preguntas, ¿ok? Not necessarily with the verb do. I don't know if you have any question uh, until now. Do you have any question? Any doubt? Estamos bien hasta acá. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Something to clarify? Everything is okay? Okay. 
Ding dong, ding dong. Ok, good. Everything is ok. Hmm. Ya vamos a ver si es cierto. Let's continue. Structure. Now we're going to, to see the structure of this type of uh, questions. Give me a second, please. Okay, the structure. All right, the structure is the following. Take a look at this. We got the WH word, okay? Remember the WH word can be what, what time, where, when, which, who, with. But in this case, remember, we are just going to use two of them. Okay, what and where. Those are like the two structures that we are going to be discussing. Plus, okay, the WH word plus do or does. Remember that do or does is the auxiliary verb, okay? The auxiliary verb, like in every, every, every question structure in simple present. So do, when it goes for I, you, we and they, okay? And thus, we use it when we ask questions in third person. Like for example, with he, she, it, or proper nouns. Proper nouns like uh, Natalie, like uh, Maria, okay? Something like that. So, <laughs> hey, hey, welcome Ana Maria, you're here already. Ah, yo nosotros creímos que andaba de parranda como era viernes. No. All right. <laughs> no. tarde de trabajar. Really? Hey, hey what, what are the days that you got day off? ¿Cuáles son sus días libres? Hoy es weekend. Really? Just weekend? Justamente cuando no tenemos ya, clase. Hoy ya descanso como usted. <laughs> como usted dice. <laughs> yes, I will say yes. <laughs> Sí, es que antes tenía jueves y viernes, hoy ya no, hoy es sábado y domingo. Ah, but the good thing is that you have, you have them continuously, los tiene juntos, uh -huh. eso es bueno. Sí. That's cool. Okay. Sí, o sea, pero ahora de lunes a viernes estoy trabajando. Oh my God, that's so sad. Okay, so and then we got after do or does, we got the subject, remember the subject can be a proper noun or it can be a pronoun, like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, or they, okay? And a proper noun, like, like I don't know, like Sara, Stephanie, okay, Rosa, pensando en el infinito. Okay, continue. Uh, after the subject, we got the verb in base form. Recuerden que cuando tenemos estructuras en tercera persona, preguntas en tercera persona, quien hace la acción de la tercera persona y se modifica es el auxiliar, the auxiliary verb. Por eso lo colocamos como does, ¿ok? The main verb, el verbo principal, permanece en forma base, ¿ok? No le agregamos s, no es, no es, or ies. Nothing uh, about that, using the answer. After the base form of the verb, we got a complement. Sometimes we got complements and sometimes it's not necessary. Recuerden que a veces tenemos complemento, a veces no. Okay, como en la pregunta, what do you do? In that case, we don't have complement, okay? Si le queremos poner complemento, yeah, podemos. Okay, todo depende de, eh, de qué estemos preguntando. Like, what do you do in your company? In your company, that is the complement. But that is optional, pero ahí ya es opcional. As I told you, depending on the question. Okay, or depending on what you ask. All right, and then at the end, the question mark, okay? So we got some examples. Ever, read this question for me, please. 
Okay. Where does Marta send emails? Ah, okay, thank you. Where does Marta send emails? Take a look at that. We got does because we have a third person with a proper noun. In this case, Marta, that's a third person. Remember, singular. And send is in base form, okay? In base form. And emails, that's a complement, okay? Uh, Romeo, read the answer. She sends emails to other branch, branches. Okay, branches. Thank you, Romeo. She sends email to other branches. All right, what, what, what is the word branches? Do you remember? What is branches? Sucursales. Sucursales. There you go. Okay, remember, that is in plural. Si le quitamos la E y la S, that's branch. Only one, okay? Sucursal. Just keep that in mind. Okay, let's continue. Mrs. Rutia. Psst. Okay, she, she, she looks very uh, lively today. <laughs> so I am feliz. Read the question, please. What do you do? Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see someone who's not participated. Ana Garcia, are you there? Ana. I train new employees. Employees. Repeat. Employees. Thank you, Ana. Yeah. I train new employees. There you go. Como ven, ahí dependiendo de la acción que hagamos, así es el verbo que colocamos en esa respuesta. Ok. Siempre usando el what do you do. All right. Ya en las demás... Generalmente sí, verbo que colocamos en pregunta es el verbo que colocamos en respuesta. Ok, any question uh, up to now? Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? Something that might not be clear for you? Roxana, Romeo, Rosa. Oh, la pared que está en rosa. Ajá, eh, something. No? Natalie no está. Ah, ya, yeah, ahí está Natalie, acaba de venir. No mentira, no mentira, hace como 15 minutos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like 15 minutes ago. Yes. Okay, no questions? Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Hmm. Questions to answer. Ahora sí, vamos a probarlos. Okay, but in the questions, in questions. This, this, this type of structures are like kind of easy for you to understand. What are we gonna do here? Listen up. Acá traigo una serie de preguntas que ustedes, que quiero que ustedes les den respuesta. Okay? So, copy them in your notebooks and give them an answer. And after that, we're gonna try to practice this type of questions. Okay, these are the questions. I think there are five, two, four, and one more. Give me a second. Yes. Okay. I want you to give an answer to these five questions. Okay. Pongamos atención a las terceras personas. Okay. Si yo hago una pregunta con she, I'm pretending to have an answer using she as well. Okay. Y pongamos también cuidado a, las tercer, a, a la forma correcta del verbo en la respuesta. Recordemos que... En tercera persona al verbo se le agrega S, E, S o I, E, S dependiendo de qué tipo de verbo es. Remember that. So, I want you to give an answer to these questions. Let's go on. Let's do one example question. Example. This is my example for you to understand better. Okay. Uh, like where does what where does Lucy um, give me a verb? Deme un verbo. 
Any bird. Run. Run. Okay. There you go. Where does La Lucy run? Ah, she runs on the street. You see? I got this example. And I got the verb. To pay, pay attention to the verb. I got the verb run with the S because it's third person. Okay, take this, this question as an example and do the other ones. Let's do them, people. And let me know when you finish. And please take your cameras on. I want to see you. Thank you. Thank you for the ones who are opening up your cameras. Finish. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. De, de <laughs> Come on. <man>. I <laughs> tell you, finish everything. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. So let me know when you finish. Lo siento, teacher, no escuché. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ah, quiero que copie esas preguntas en su cuaderno y les dé respuesta. Vaya, gracias. <laughs> Okay, then I have that. Right, you're Be welcome. Sure. Yeah, tell me. ¿Cuáles preguntas? Eh, what do you do? Where does she supervise? Where does he work? Uh, what department do you manage? Where does your company manufacture? Pero esas, usted las dio, ¿dónde están? Uh, no les aparece en pantalla, people. Sí, son las que están ahí, sí. Stephanie. Las que yes. están en pantalla, Stephanie. Ahí las que tienen la presentación, Stephanie. Sí. Aquí dice question to answer. Answer. Es que es viernes y el cuerpo lo está. No, sí. quizás no las puede ver ella. No las ah, eh. hasta ahorita las hasta ahorita las pude ver. Ahorita. Really? Really? Sí, sí, yo, ¿cuáles? No me aparecen. <laughs> That is weird. <laughs> Lo que hacen los vicios. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mentira, este manito. Eh, no, no. Malvado. Sin gusto. Drinking, vicios. drinking coffee. That is, that is a, an addiction. No. Don't you drink coffee, Stephanie? No. Why not? But do you eh, like coffee? Why not? Oh, I don't like very much. <laughs> my God. Fuera o sea, de mi poquito, clase. Pero, <laughs> really? Lo que me encanta es la Coca-Cola. Ah. <laughs> But we got, the, we got the caffeine, like caffeine. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. similar. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sí. Usted es como mi esposa. A no le gusta el café. Pero le dice que le gusta el olor al café. Del café. <laughs> o sea. Ajá, eso sí, eso sí. Weird, extraño. Y si no, para tomarlo, no tengo que echarle, echarle mucha cremora. So then it's not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue, people. Let me know when you finish. Oh my God, what the fuck? 17 students, 18, 19, 20, uh, four students are missing. Hmm. Yeah, they started vacations right now. Let me know if you need help. Me hace saber si necesitan ayuda en algo, right? In something. 
No en la respuesta, right? Because I don't know. Pero la segunda pregunta te dice que, que supervisa a ella, ¿verdad? Exactly. Pero in, the, in the company. El contexto, o sea, no. Okay, uh, that it depends on you. Henry. It depends on you. Are you serious, Ana Maria? Okay, listen. What does she supervise in the company? Okay, it depends on the context. Example, uh, I can say, what does she supervise? Ah, she supervises the production department. Uh, she supervises um, the new employees. You see, like, it depends on the context that you give. No quise claro. poner un contexto específico, sino ustedes lo escogen, ¿ok? Ah, ok, okay. Suponiendo yes. que tuviéramos una supervisora en este caso. Exactly. Ah, uh -huh. oh, ok, muy bien, gracias. Con razón me llama María, así como que pensativa. Teacher. Ajá. Dijo que en esa, en la dos, vamos a poner solo si tenemos supervisora. Eh, o, o al, uh, digamos a otra persona aparte, ok ahí va a depender del contexto que usted le quiera dar, si, si es like from you that, that, I mean the person that supervises you or she can supervise other um, departments usted puede poner inclusive que puede supervisar, esa persona puede supervisar otros departamentos eh, como los que estuvimos viendo eh, en las actividades pasadas Ah, okay. Yes. Gracias. Okay. The idea is just just to provide an answer, okay? Y quiero ver la la estructura correcta de las de las oraciones. That's what do I really want to see if we have understood this this topic. Ouch. All right, la doña tormenta ya viene. Teacher, eh, en la última no lo entiendo mucho. Okay, tell me. Eh, where does your company manufacture? Okay, this is related to esto es relacionada cuando, eh, digamos, las empresas crean productos. Ok. For example, uh, I think it's Galvaniza, la que tiene su propia empresa que crea. O no sé, no sé. Yo como no, no me ve así, Eric, yo no sé. <ríe> ok. Uh, digamos, son ese tipo de empresas que crean productos y tienen su, su, su base. Right, Eric? Yes. O sea que tengo que poner a dónde está la base de, de, exactly, de, de exactly. la empresa. Exactly. Right, teacher. In Por my ejemplo, case... Sorry. Dígame, Joanny. Por ejemplo, sería um, Company Manufacturing is in San Salvador. Así. Eh, eh, no is. Simplemente in y luego San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Depends on the location. Ah, ok. Yes. Sí, ahí, Ajá, tell me. Y, y la, la cuatro dicen qué departamento está, algo así es en el departamento, si sí, digamos San Salvador, ¿verdad? O es el ah, departamento no, no, de la no. empresa. Eh, yes, it's in the enterprise. Yeah, the company. Ah, okay. What department do you manage? Ah, ¿qué departamento dentro de la compañía dirige? Ah, ok. Yes. What were you about to say, Eric? Um, uh, in, in my case, uh, my company manufacture in, in Wasapa. Wasapa. Uh, uh -huh. Ahí está la planta, la planta industrial donde se reciben las, lo que son las, la materia prima, viene de China. Ah, unas, really? bobinas, unas bobinas de, de lámina. Ahí se... Dependiendo eh, los requerimientos, así se cortan las bobinas de, de las láminas. Esas son toneladas, no recuerdo cuántas. 
Wow. Y este, se manufactura lo que es eh, la lámina y los, las T para los cielos falsos. Yes. Varios, varios. varios A lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's really great because, I mean, in that case, you got your own production and you do it eh, according to what the customer says. Right? Yes, yeah. Right. Ah, that's, that's great, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is sí, interesting. Che. Yes. Mira, disculpe que pregunte tanto, pero... No problem, no problem. En la 5 dice que a dónde factura, manufactura, todo eso va. Mm -hmm. Yo trabajo en, en almacén de vidri y ahí todo es, es como que, o sea, todo va a base de proveedores. Mm -hmm. No hay nada que hagan como ahí. Ok, no problem, no problem. En ese caso, supongamos que manufacturen algo, ok, like that you produce something. Y simplemente coloque un lugar, all right? Put the place, mention the place. Ok. En San Salvador pongo. Oh, yeah, you can put in San Salvador, like uh, Santa Tecla, uh, what, are, what else? Yeah, yeah, I don't know the cities in San Salvador. <laughs> ah, pues, oh, gracias, teacher. Yeah, ok, Flor. Yeah, I don't know what cities. Antes decía que no, Cuscatlán estaba en San Salvador. Yeah, I mean, no sé de, de geografía. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't even know what, what are like the, 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 the cities in San Miguel, just imagine. I don't travel. Consecuencias de no, de no viajar, de no salir. Do you finish, people? Yes. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Very good. Let's wait for the rest to finish. Okay, I see that. I see. Hi, William. Good evening. I was a problem, my connect internet. Ah, really? Yes. Yes. Jame, jame. Eso pensé más. Now is I connected. Ah, really? Yeah, like you're connecting right now, right? Yeah, I thought that you were like showing some problems or, or with the internet or with your job because you generally connect like early. Uh -huh. And I was like, yeah, he's not here. Uh, what, what do? Uh, like right now we are practicing a simple, uh, pres simple uh, present information question. That is, the, that is the topic, simple present information question. And uh, we were uh, practicing some, uh, some uh, structures. This is likely similar, William, to the module number two, in which we started using what, where, when, who, using simple present. It's likely similar. But in this class, we are just practicing what and where related to the companies, related to the enterprise. Okay, and I have, uh, I have uh, go through some uh, activities with uh, your classmates and they are answering these questions that are in your, in your screen. Like, what do you do in your company? Uh, what does she supervise? Like, that is like putting an example of a woman. Where does he work? It's just provide the answer to these questions, William. If you can, please, uh, I want you to give an answer to these questions. Okay. All right, go for it. Ah, Salvador is coming. That's good. That is great. Oh my God. All right, just let me know people, how, how are you in there? 
Do you finish, Ana Maria? <laughs> Almost. Okay, okay. Ya terminé, pero no sé si están buenas. Uh, we're going to check them. We're going to check them. Uh, Romeo, do you finish? Mm, creo que sí. <laughs> you think? Okay. Uh, Mrs. Rutia, how about you? Do you finish? Just only one. Uh, only one is missing. Yeah. Okay. Fatima? Done? Okay, very good. Sara, you finish? Yes. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta en la última que dice que el, la misma que dijo, eh, no me acuerdo el nombre, pero Sorry. que Ajá. dice que manufactura, que el, mi compañía, que o a dónde Ajá. manufacturan. Yes, pero yes. Yo, yo trabajo en una empresa de correspondencia. No problem, o sea, no, no problem, no problem. Look, 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 look. Don't put it personal. Look, put it like if you have an enterprise that manufactures things. Only put an answer mentioning a place, okay? Don't take it like, like personal. No importa que las demás preguntas si las conteste personal. Exactly, no matter that, okay? It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, okay. all right, good. Bien, eh, entonces comencemos con las respuestas. Eh, let's, let's see what are your answers. And, and after, after going to, to, the, to the questions and answers, eh, voy a dejar de compartir un momento, ¿ok? Porque voy a pasar asistencia. Give me a second. Okay, uh, Ana Claribel. Ana Claribel, what's there? Okay, well, she's not there. Okay, Ana Maria. Present. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Oh, what happened here? Permítame un momento. All right, Ana María. Uh, Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay. Yes. And, uh, Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, si les hablo un poco más fuerte, es porque... Está cayendo una fuerte tormenta ahorita acá. Espero no vaya, no vaya a causar estragos en la señal. Así que, mamá, pique en la calera. Laura. Ever de Jesús. Presente. Fátima okay. uh, Alejandra. Presente. Laura Hidalia. Present. Bill Marquillo. Present. Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Uh, Carla Benacer. Present. Uh, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Julia Sulema. Present, teacher. Nice. Romero Valencia. Present. Ok. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ana Yesenia. Present. Salvador Alfonso. ¿Con qué tengo? ¿Con qué casa tengo la tarde? No sé. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. 
y hay algo de ver acá de Ay, esto es bueno de hacer compras de amo. Present. <risa> Present. Casi no se le escucha. <ríe> Casi no le escucha, teacher. teacher. Realmente no le escucho, fíjese. Ni yo, teacher. Nadie creo, teacher, porque yo no le escucho oh, tampoco. God. Es que en serio está cayendo una mega tormenta. Ah, pues fue un gusto. Nos, Nos vemos, vemos el lunes. Nada, nada, ok. Uh, let me know if you don't listen, ok. Me hace saber si me siento no. muy bien. Ay, ay, teacher, como que estuviera lejos, ¿verdad? Como en San Miguel y yo aquí en Sonsonate. Ok, déjenme. Niños, ¿se pueden callar? Los chicos. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí, teacher. Ahora sí se mejor. Ok. Ey, no Ey, entiendo. Qué no gran ent tormenta. Sí, está súper fuerte ahorita. Y um, no entiendo por qué cuando, ah, cuando, me, cuando dejo de compartir pantalla, este, el micrófono cambia y me cambia al micrófono de la cámara. <ríe> es raro. Pero bueno, eh, let's continue with this. Sara, ¿can you listen to me now? Ahora sí me escucha. Ahora sí, Tiche. Ok, good. Algo lo lejos, pero... Toso. ¿Cómo? Toso. Ok, eh, vamos a hacer algo. I want you to ask your questions, ok, the questions to Eric. Quiero que usted le haga las preguntas a Eric y Eric le va a contestar, ok, lo que él hizo. Ok, teacher. Eric. <laughs> Eric. Hi, Sara. What do you do? I'm computer analyst. Okay. What that she supervises? She supervise, uh, supervises the branches. Okay. Where does he work? He works in San Salvador. Okay. What department do you manage? I manage uh, the IT department. Okay. With that, your company manufacture? Uh, my company manufacture in Guasapa. Okay. Va a ser la última en responder sus preguntas, okay? Okay, teacher. Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for, you. For, for, for the answers. Now I want you to read the questions for Nubia. Okay. Nubia. Mm -hmm. Hola. Uh, what do you do? I check the client's agenda. What does she supervise? She supervises where does he work? He works at full stack. What department do you manage? I manage the production department. Where does your company manufacture? Our company produce Produce in Soyapanco. Produce 
soy apa. Okay, thank you, Nubia. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Eric. Now, Nubia, I want you to I want you to read the questions for Fatima. Okay. Fatima, what do you do? I make financial reports. Okay. What does she supervise? She supervises the seller's department. Okay. Where does he work? He works in La Libertad. Okay. What department do you manage? I manage financial department. Okay. Where does your company manu manufacture? My company manufacture the product in different countries because it's in importer or importer company. Excellent, Fatima. Okay, Nubia, thank you. Fatima, okay. now I want you to read the questions for Hilmar. Okay. Hilmar, Hello. what do you do? <laughs> I am chair of supervising the server. What does she supervise? She is in charge of content production. Where does he work? Uh, I work in a television channel. Read the he, answer again, Hilmar. I work in a television channel. Uh, but in that case, the question is in third person, Hilmar. Mm -hmm. Where uh, does he work? Uh -huh. ah, okay. <laughs> he works in a television channel. Excellent. Uh, what department do you manage? Uh, I manage the IT department. Where does your company manufacture? The company produces in San Salvador. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you, uh, Fatima and Hilmar. Thank you. Se me va a volar la lámina. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Ya, ya siente que le cae el techo encima, has dicho. Ya siento que me dejan sin lámina. <laughs> okay, uh, Helmer, I want you to read uh, the questions forever. Dice Eric que le puedo ofrecer un descuento en Lemon por si le vuelven las láminas. <laughs> hey Eric, ahí me hace descuento. Ahí le conseguimos, teacher, no se preocupe. Ey, no es comisión, mentira, comisión. quiero conseguir, es cierto. Quiero hacer una ah. otra nueva casa para el carro. Ah, usted solo me avisa lo que necesite y conseguimos. Ah, ok, good. Está de contrabando. <risa> <risa> ¿A qué dijo que le preguntara? Ya nos escribió. To ever. To ever. Error, ok. What do you do, ever? I sell the new products to the, our customer needs. Okay. What does she supervise? She supervises the quality the products what we send. Okay. Where does he work? He works in Unilever company. Okay. What department do you manage? I manage the sales department. Where does your company manufacture? 
My company manufacturer is San Salvador, but the headquarter is in Iowa. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Elmar. Ever, I want you to read the questions for Ana Maria. Okay. Uh, Ana Maria, what do you do? I, uh, I take calls and all day. Calls all day. Okay. What does she supervise? Hello. Ana Maria. Sí. He, he supervised new employers. Okay. Where does he work? Uh, he works uh, uh, in the concentric. What department do you manage? Um, he in the uh, uh, loyalty department. Okay. Where does your company manufacture? Uh, the manufacturing in the San Salvador. Okay, thanks. In San Salvador. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ever. Uh, now, Ana Maria, I want you to read your, I mean, the questions to uh, Mrs. Urrutia. Stephanie, what do you do? I work in every all day. <laughs> what does a she supervise? Supervise. She supervises that the correspondent. Where does he work? He work in Aeroflash. What department do you manage? I manage the liquidation department. Where does your company manufacture? The manufacturing in San Salvador. My company, the my company manufactures in San Salvador. What? The company manufactures in San Salvador. Ah, okay. The company manufacture in San Salvador. Okay, yeah, because the company is like the subject in this case. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, si no queremos mencionar la palabra company, la podemos sustituir con el pronombre it. Recordemos eso, okay? It manufactures in San Salvador. So now, Mrs. Urrutia, I want you to read the questions for Carla. Okay. Carla, what do you do? Uh, I ship containers to other countries. What does she supervise? Uh, she, she supervises two products. Where does he work? Uh, does he work? He mm -hmm. work. Um, Green Industrial Park. Uh, what department do you manage? I manage the, the I manage the export department. Where does you Where does your company manufacture? My company manufacture in Soyapango. In Soyapango. Oh, okay. okay, very good. Thank okay, you, thank you. Now, Carla, I want you to uh, read the questions for Roxana. Okay, Roxana, what do you do? I am a one-year assistant. What does she supervise? She supervise in the morning. Where does he work? He work is GMG. Do you manage it? 
our manager department is wine. Where does your company manufacture? It's produced in San Miguel. Okay, very good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carla. Uh, Roxana, I want you to read the questions for Natalie. Okay. Natalie, what did you do? I am dedicated to reviewing financial inventories. What does she supervise you? She supervises the production area. What does she what does he work? Uh, no, where does she work? Where, Sarah? where is mm -hmm. where does he work? He works at Aeroflash. What department do you manage? I manage the credit car area. Where does your company manufacture? The company manufacturer in San Salvador. Ah, okay, very good. Very good. Uh, thank you, Roxana. Uh, Natalie, you. I want you to take uh, the question for Rosa del Carmen. Okay, Rosa, what do you do? Rosa, are you there? Hi, lo siento. <laughs> what do you do, Rosa? I am cashier. Buenas noches. What does she supervise? She supervises the accountant. Where does he work? He were in San Salvador. What department do you manage? Manage. I manage the accounting department. Where does your company manufacture? My company manufacture in Aguachapán. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Now, Rosa, I want you to read the questions for Giovanni. Okay, what do you do? I work in Lido. What does she supervise? She reviews the product days. Mm, days in? Where does, where does he work? He works in San Salvador. What department do you do, manager? Do you I'm manage? manager in the product. Do you manage in the product? Okay, Johnny, read it again, please. I manage in the in the products department. Okay, I manage the product department. Or the production I'm department in this case. The manager in the product department. Department. Okay, continue. Where does your company manufacture? My company manufactures in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosa. Now, Joanny, I want you to read your que I mean the questions for Romeo. Romeo, what do you do? Uh, I am studying English and work. What does she supervise? She is supervisor in Sala department. Where does he work? The company technical and San Chiapango. What department do you manage? Manage. Manage. The department technical. Where does 
you company manufacturing? A factory in the Sierra Franco. Ah, okay. So thank you, Joanny. Now, Romeo, read the questions for William. Okay, William, what do you do? I am work in customer. I work in customer, that is a service, right? Uh, what, what does she supervise? Uh, she supervises the attended, what attended the customer service. Ah, okay. Uh, where does he work? He works. He works in the department, the analyst department. Uh, what department do you manage? Um, I I don't know management department. And where does your company manufacture? My man, my, my company factory is, is in San Salvador. Okay, very good. So thank you, Romeo. Now, William, I want you to read the questions for Mrs. Janet. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mr. Janet, uh, what do you do? I'm a teacher. <clears throat> teacher. Okay. Uh, what does she supervise? She supervises the management area. Okay. Uh, where does he work? He works in San Salvador. What department do you manage? I manage the cashier area. Okay, uh, where does your company manufacture? It man manufacture in Aguilares. Very good, so thank okay. you, William. Now, uh, Janet, I want you to read the questions for Diana. Okay. Diana, um, what do you do? I am selling assistant. Self assistant. What does she supervise? She supervises the inventory. Where does he work? He works in a hardware store. What department do you manage? I manage the plumbing department. Where does your company manufacture? My company is located in the Department La Libertad. Wow, okay. Okay. okay, very good. Thank you, Mrs. Janet. Now, Diana, I want you to raise the questions for Mrs. Durrutia. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Miss Urrutia. Mrs. Urrutia. Uh, okay, again, teacher. <laughs> ah, again? You participate already? Yes. Ah, okay, forget about it. Ana Garcia. Okay. Yeah, the thing is that I have been moving there constantly. What do you do, Ana Garcia? I am Salef for medical equipment. What does the supervise? She supervise. She supervise the employees. Employees. Where does he work? He work in Serbio Meda. What department? Department 
do you manage? I manage your sales department. All right, remember. Manage. Where does your company manufacture? My company manufacturing in San Salvador. It's in San Salvador. Okay. okay. Very good. Uh, so thank you, Diana. Now, Anna, uh, let me see. I want you to read the questions for Flor. Okay. Flor, what do you do? I am a sales advisor. What does she supervise? She super, supervisor the store inventory. Where does he work? I am I am a work at Almacén Vidri. Uh, okay, okay. It says, uh, let's see, where does he work? That is a third person question, Flor. Mm -hmm. En ese caso sería, he works. He works. Ah, ah, perdón. Okay. He worked at Almacén Epidri. Very good. Okay. What department do you manage? Manage. Manage. Eh, ahí sí es de yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. I am in the in in the department the paint the department i am in the paint department department okay you you will say i listen up it says like what departments do you manage so i manage and then mention the name of the department y luego mencionar el nombre del departamento flor mm, entonces sería i'm i man uh, I manage. I manage. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y luego the, el nombre del departamento. Ah, uh, I manage in the paint department. Ok, the painting department. ¿No? Okay. Es departamento de pintura. Ajá, uh -huh. the painting department. Okay. Where does your company manufacturing? Manufacturing. Manufacture, yes. Company, my company manufacturer in, in San Salvador. It's in San Salvador. Okay, very good. All right, uh, let me see who else is missing. I think nobody else is missing. Now, Flor, I want you to read your questions to Sara. Okay. Sara, what do you do? I am Gang Center. Okay. What does she supervisor? She supervises the stager. Okay. Where does he work? He works in the cell. What the part department do you manage? Uh, manage. I manage the sales department. Okay. Where does your company manufacture? Uh, my company manufacturing in Santa Tecla. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Flor. I think nobody let's see. Does everybody participate? Because I don't know, like some people get the curriculum off, so I cannot watch. Okay, I think everybody participated, right? Alguien se me quedó que no participó, please. Es que eh, se están poniendo las cámaras apagadas y así no se me mueven las cuadrículas. Please tell me who, who's missing. Jonathan, did you participate? No. Okay, Jonathan. I'm going to make you participate. Uh, what do you do, Jonathan? I am boss of the company. All right, perfect. What does she supervise? She supervises production department and my maintenance. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, where does he work? 
he works is in San Salvador. Ah, okay, very good. Mm, what department do you manage? I manage, manage, see. Sí. Sí. I manage the sales department. The sales department, very good. Uh, and the last one. Uh, where does your company manufacture? The company manufactures in San, San Miguel. In San Miguel. Okay, very good, Jonathan. Thank you. Now, uh, Romeo, did you participate? Don't remember. Romeo, are you there? Hey. Did you participate already? Yeah, 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 participate. No, me acuerdo, Romeo, no me acuerdo. No, sí, ya me preguntaron. <laughs> okay, no problem, Romeo. Okay, all right, people, let's continue with the practice. But how come? Now we're going to switch into a short conversation that you have in your manual. If you got your manual printed, please open it up. And let's go to straight to this conversation. Look, we got this conversation between some people. So we got the conversation between, I mean, Aman, actually, uh, Miss, Miss Tate and Mr. John. Those are like the one, okay? Uh, what we are going to do in this case, we are going to do uh, the same thing that we have been doing before. I am going to read the conversation and please, at the end of the reading, let me know if you have any question with the vocabulary, with pronunciation, or if you don't know a word, okay? Eh, nada más me confirman si, si escuchan bien. Do you listen to me? Clearly? Yes. 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 Okay, yes, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, because it's still raining hard in here. Okay. Uh, so it says, Miss, Miss, listen up. That MS is pronounced like Miss. Y la MR is pronounced como Mr. Okay. Miss, Mr. So it says, Miss Tate. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Are you Mr. John? And it says, yes, I am. Yes, I am. It says Mrs. Miss State. I'm Miss State. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It says Mr. John. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Miss Tate. Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. And this is Leo. It says Mario, welcome, nice to meet you. Welcome, nice to meet you. And it says Miss State, nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Mario. And nice to meet you, Leo, I mean Leo. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? What do you do? 
It's a Leo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm in church. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. Of the kitchen staff. And it says Miss Tate. Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? What does the girl over there do? Okay, from there, do you have any questions related to the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna pregunta, alguna duda en cuanto a pronunciación o alguna palabra de, ese, de esa conversación? Teacher, eh, no dijo en la última, she is Nisa. Ok, give me a second. Which one? Eh, Mr. Young es el último. Ok, give me a second. Give me a second. I cannot see this. Permítame, voy a poner la conversación en el, en el manual. No sé, se me ha desconfigurado esto. Let's queer. Give me a second, please. The page. Yeah, give me a second. Ah, I got it here. Yes, that's the one. The thing is that I got problems with the presentation, but I got it in here. There you go. We got it here. It says, now listen up. She's, listen up. She's nice. She's nice. She's in church of purchases. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, now from here, do we have any questions related to the vocabulary? Nice to meet you. Así se pronuncia mating. This one? No. Which one? La otra. Más abajo? Ah, la que está arriba. No, la que está arriba. Nice en Mr. Ajá, nice ajá. meeting. Nice to meet you. The thing is there is like like kind of fast. Nice to meet you. No, pero nice dice meet. nice meeting. No, listen, uh -huh. listen, listen, listen. Meet you. In that case. Meet you. Yes, yes, meet him. The thing is that I didn't pronounce the R in that one. That's why. A lo mejor por eso no me escucharon el ING. Okay? Like meeting you. But in that case, for you, it's like meeting. Meeting. Pronounce it that way. Okay? Uh, Jonathan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, ah. Yo tengo un aporte al tema. Este, este, no, no, bueno, eh, dice, dice todo el, el, todo el diálogo, pero lo dice así para que nosotros le digan el nombre. Entonces, eh, yo quisiera que después de, de que lo, de que lo lea así, que lo lea completo así a tiempo real para que se escuche en realidad cómo se dice el diálogo y las cosas que... Ah, hay... Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Eh, no sé, creo que tiene problemas con el audio porque poco le escucho. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Ahora, según le, le entendí a Jonathan, lo que él está solicitando es que si al final de todo, por ejemplo, ahorita con esta, con esta conversación, Ajá. que al final usted la haga completa para escucharlo como es eh, seguido todo, ¿verdad? Ah, ya, 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 de una. Sin de una, espacio. Exacto. Ok, I can do it if you want. 
¿Es, ¿Es así, Jonathan? Sí, correcto. Ah, perfecto. Ah, ahora lo escucho mejor. Ah, there you go. Ok, ya. Yeah, let's do it once again. Eh, sin ir despacio, entonces. Ok. Give me a second. Ok, so remember, this is a conversation between Miss Tate, Mr. John, Mario, ok, do, and Leo. It says, Miss Tate, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. Ok, I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. It says, great. Who, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's nicer. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, purchases. Okay, from there. Did you have any questions related to the vocabulary? ¿Hay alguna palabra que sea desconocida para nosotros ahí? Purchases. Purchases, ¿qué significa? Uh, compras. Yeah. Viene el verbo purchase. Y de purchase en vocabulary. I mean, department. Teacher. Yes. What's, what the meaning of trainer? Ok, trainer es... Eh, entrenador, ok, entrenadora o capacitador, capacitadora ok ok, thank you All right, you're welcome any other question alguna otra pregunta no, ok, perfect what are we gonna do because of the time and I want you to participate with this hmm. We're gonna do it in sequences. Let me see, how many we are right now? ¿Cuántos sabemos? 20, ah, pretty cool. We got 10 and 10, listen up. Les voy a mandar a trabajar, o a practicar esta pequeña conversación en parejas. Y voy a ir entrando en sección en sección y ahí ustedes me la van a leer, okay? We're not gonna do it like here in general. We're gonna do it there, okay? In the meantime, I want you to practice. When I get there, I want you to read it for me. All right, let's go for it. Mm. Va a quedar uno de tres, porque Salvador creo que no va a participar. He's busy. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing here. Give me a second. I'm going to create the assignment. Nine. All right, give me a second. Where is Salvador? Salvador. Some four. Okay. Demole aceptar ahí. Let's go to practice this. All right, let's everybody go to practice. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Puras penas estamos ahorita, qué bárbaro. Empezando estamos, teacher. Y ya escuché que están con sueño. Yeah, me too. But uh, let's wait. I mean, 
10 more minutes and we're finishing. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. I want you to practice at least two times. Quiero que practiquen por lo menos dos veces y luego vuelvo, okay? Okay. 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 No sé si pueden ver la, la captura ahí. Sí, sí se ve. Creo que eso sería toda la, toda la conversación. Va, si quiere empieza usted, Roma. Vaya. Eh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm Miss Take. Um, they train, training, nice trainer. to meet you. Trainer, huh? trainer, trainer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trainer, nice to meet you. Very good. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I chair, chair of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does that there over there do? Romeo? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen stuff. Ah, no, Romeo. Ah, en la última. La última. She's nice. She's nice. In... ¿Cómo? Nice. Nice. Uh -huh. uh, she's in charge of purchases. Purchases. Of purchase. Okay, very good. Give me a second. Permítanme que uno se me salió. A ver. Ana García, Ana María, Eric. Voy a mandar para donde está. Oh, ahí está. Permítanme. Nah, ok. There you go. Very good. All right. Now, continue practicing. In the meantime, I'm going to go to see other groups, okay? Okay. okay. Nice. nice. The kitchen is done. Great, mm -hmm. good. Mr. John, what does the here other there do? She's Nisa. She is in charge of the pushes. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo? <¿no? laughs> hey, como que las dos al mismo tiempo, tranquilas, una y una. <laughs> okay, right. good. Good. Hello, good morning. Uh, are you Mr. Jo John? Yes, I am. I mistake. Uh, I'm the I'm the training. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Miss Day, let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, uh, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice. Uh, to meet, nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, good. Miss John, Mr. John, what does the kid order there do? She's Nisa, she's in the charge of pushers. Nice. Pushers, eh? Purchase. Nice. Purchase. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Right. Okay. Continue practicing if you want. That way you can gain fluency. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Roxana. Se desconectó. Hello, Roxana. Hello. Are you there? Ok. Sí, se salió, Tiche. No más. Tiene problema. Se salió. Ah, yes. Que, yes. que tuvo miedo por eso, quizás. <risa> no, es que estaba teniendo problemas con el internet. Ya. Yeah. Sí, así es. Así dice okay. ella. But uh, let's, let's practice. I want to listen to you both. Okay. okay. Hello, okay. good morning. Ah, dale, pues. No, comienza usted, dale, ya comienza. Vaya. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Miss State. Um, the trainer, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Leo. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, uh, Mr. John. What does the girl over there do? She's nicer. She's in charge of the purchases. Okay, purchases. Per ¿Cómo es? Purchases. Purchases. Yes, okay, very good. Okay. All right, thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Rosa. You did it excellent. Continue practicing if you want, okay? Eh, voy a revisar okay. otros grupos. Podemos continuar repasando, okay? Okay. Si Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay, yeah. Si se conecta, voy a volver, okay? Okay. okay. There you go. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the what, what does the girl over there do? She's nicer. She's in charge of her chase. Okay, very good people. Thank you for sharing. Ah, Fatima, before before I move to another group. Uh, today, you're going to have mm -hmm. the 10 minutes feedback, okay? Okay, okay era, teacher. Era ayer, pero como no vino. Mm -hmm. ah, no, sí. no. Okay, teacher. No vino la clase. Hmm. <laughs> teacher. No, es que tuve un día súper complicado ayer. Okay, okay. Esos días no complicadísimos. No problem. <laughs> okay. All right, see you in the main sala, okay? The main room. Mm -hmm. La página 21 es. Hello, hello. 21. Yeah, like page 21. Uh, you, mm -hmm. Do you want it to participate? Okay, give me a second. Okay. Eh, lo que pasa es que ahí no está, no está la, 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 la última parte. La voy a poner yo, ok. Eh, para que, para, para que, para escucharlos. De Are you Mr. John? I am Jasper. Yes, I am. I am Miss State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is, he is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Lou. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am the church of the kitchen staff. Great. Um, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's a church of purchases. 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 Okay, very good. All right, I'm going to check just one more uh, participation and then we're going to move to the main room, okay? Okay, okay. Right. thank you. Perfect. Purchases. 
Okay. Ahora, Ahora empieza, ¿eh? Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I mistake in the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the here over there do? Uh, she, she's Nisa, she is in charge of the purchase. Purchases. Purchases. Yeah, purchases. Purchases. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. excellent people. All right, now let's move to the main room, okay? So the participation has already finished. Vámonos a la sala principal. Los espero ahí. Okay, people, I hope you have already participated uh, and practiced the conversation. Hey, hey. Ah, yeah, I got 21. Uh, just one student is missing. Hey, finally, I got them all. Ah, sin falta Roxana, pero se fue el internet, algo así. All right, people, listen up. Por motivos de tiempo, eh, me faltaron como tres, creo, tres, tres parejas en las cuales no pude entrar. Okay. And I hope you, 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 you did it good. You did it excellent. We couldn't continue with the exercises that we got in the manual. All right, uh, but next week, especially on uh, Wednesday, we're gonna try to finish those exercises that we, we that we didn't complete today in the manual. Okay. Um, today I'm going to upload something to the platform in the section discussion. In the section discussion de la plataforma, ahora voy a colocar una serie de Voy a colocar básicamente una estructura de este tipo de preguntas y voy a colocar un par de preguntas personales, just for you, ¿ok? Quiero que a, ese tipo, a esas preguntas ustedes me les den respuesta, ¿ok? Van a tener el fin de semana para poderlo hacer. Eh, solo que sí, las respuestas las quiero antes del lunes, ¿ok? If you got it, like, like try to do it before, before Monday, ¿ok? Entonces, no van a hacer un montón, van a hacer como cuatro preguntas nada más tales como las que estuvimos practicando acá. Eh, solo que sí, estas van a ser like directly for you, okay? Personales. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to have. And uh, let's do uh, the, the homework, okay? For, for, for today. Y pues igual, eh, tal vez no ahora, pero el fin de semana sí, por favor me completan la tarea. Así para que vayamos digamos, un tanto libres para la próxima semana. Ya que recuerden que el miércoles finalizamos ya la semana 2. Así que el miércoles tendríamos que hacer el midterm. Ok. Ya, yeah, Nubia, tell me. Teacher, en la tarea de esta sección 7, uh -huh. eh, es lo que estábamos viendo con Stephanie. Uh -huh. Creo que esta semana que eh, no sabíamos qué hacer porque yo en lo personal estuve tratando de eh, ordenar las oraciones que aparecen ahí. No pero... sale. Es verdad, no sale, teacher. Amigo. Ok. No sale. Todas me dan listen, error. Todas dan listen, error. Listen, listen. Voy a, voy, a, voy a revisarla entonces, ok. Y al grupo de, de WhatsApp les voy a mandar la indicación cómo deben de hacer para resolverla, ok. Okay. ok, perfect. Please. Así vamos a hacer. Yo pensé que yo era la, sí, no, la, que, sí porque, la que estaba teacher, de pasada. Dicho porque le, le, digo, le digo, en lo personal me he atrasado con las tareas por eso. Sí, teacher, este, <risa> yo tuve ese mismo problema. Ah. Pero este, lo que pasaba es que al final tenemos que ponerle el signo de interrogación. A veces suele ser... Sí, ajá, que, se lo que... ponía. Sí, pero yo se lo ponía. Y también letras mayúsculas, como decía ahí. Ok. Yo, ah. no. ah, yo la terminé. Ok, ok. Sí. Listen, listen, listen. 
tranquila. Es que, es que no puede <risa> con nuestros relax, sentimientos. Relax, relax. Con nuestra mente. Relax. Es que ahí ¿Mente? hay que ocupar también el auxiliar. Yes, pero no. eso uh, hay que ocupar no, los listen, auxiliares. No, pero... no, sí, les voy pero a mandar. Pero a alguien ya le salieron bien. Les voy a mandar exactamente. Eh, Ever, do you, do you do it, Ever? Do you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah yeah, puede me... ver que no te copia. <risa> no, Ever, no les de copia. Ah, les sí, voy a ver, sí. la indicación cómo tienen Pero que hacer. Pero grupo. Ok. Ajá, les voy a mandar la indicación. No, no mande screenshot. Right, <risa> me, la indicación. Ever. Ah. <risa> Lo tomaré muy en cuenta cuando llegue la respuesta Stephanie. final. La van a castigar, <risa> Stephanie. <risa> Hey, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help you, Ana María, porque si le dan copia, entonces no va a aprender. You're not learning. Hmm. Ah, no me veas así. No, listen, les voy a mandar. Hay que hackear a Ever. Hay que hackear. Hay que hackear. <laughs> the system. No, listen, I'm going to send you the, the indication cómo lo van a hacer, ¿ok? Así que, please, eh, para los que me deben tarea. Eh, pongámonos al día, eh, digamos, este fin de semana para ya el lunes comenzar ya, like de cero, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque el próximo miércoles que finalizamos semana 2 eh, tenemos que hacer el midterm o el examen de medio curso así que para que, para estar un poco ya libres de, de tareas atrasadas y no les toque hacerlo mucho y no me tengan encima ahí, mire haga la tarea, eh, like try to do it this, this, this weekend, ¿ok? Así que eh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Porque eso lo pasaría asistencia and then we can go. ¿Any other question? No. Ok, good. Yo, yo, yo tengo, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. Esas oraciones que dijo que quería cuatro, ¿dónde dijo que las en la eh, No, eh, vas a, van a estar en la sección sí. discusión, en la plataforma. Ahí las voy a subir y usted ahí me le escribe la respuesta. Ok. Ok. Perfecto. All right. Uh, okay. Ana Claribel. Present. Ok. Ana María. Present. Nice. Diana, Gabriela. Present. Very good. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Nice. Ever de Jesús. Present. Excellent. Fátima Alejandra. Present. Very good. Flor Idalia. Present, teacher. Nice. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Uh, Carla Benacer. Carla. Carla. Ah, ok. Ok. You got problems with the audio. Ok, Carla. Ya la vi. Uh, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Very good. Nubia Zulema. Present. Very good. Uh, Romeo Alexis. Present. All right. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, ok, Rosa. Roxana Yesenia. Ah, ya tuvo problemas con el internet. I don't know if she, she, she's back. No. Ok. Uh, Salvador Alfonso. <laughs> It's just like... La, la, el pulgar, Salvador. Ok, good. Uh, Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Ok, Sara. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Very good. William Alberto. Present. All right, thank you, William. Uh, Joanny Noemi. Present. Very good. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Very good. Bien, people, eh, nomás me resta desearles un buen fin de semana, que la pasen bien, descansen, <laughs> las que no van a trabajar, ok, así que nos vemos el lunes, right, at the bye. same time, same hour. Okay. Bye, bye. Fátima, bye. se me queda. Bye, teacher. Bye. Happy bye, bye. weekend. Bye, teacher. Happy weekend, people. Bye, bye. Bye, good night. Good night. Blessings. Bye. Bye, bye. Pórtese bien. Usted también, y si se porta mal, me avisa. Ok. Me invita. <risa> nah, pues. Ay, bye, Stephanie. Bye, teacher. All right. Uh, let's wait for this. 
Ok, Fátima. Eh, sí. Vamos a hacer, hacerle un pasadito a las, do, las 10, son las 10 con 12. Eh, igual, ya sabe, a estos 10 minutos los ocupamos eh, básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que haya tenido sobre la clase y clases anteriores. Ok, así que I'm all ears, soy todo ears. No, este, creo que dudas así, tan, tan puntuales no tengo, pero este, me confunde un poco y no sé, creo que soy yo la que le cuesta la parte de los, los verbos, de los solo verbos, pero en los diferentes tiempos, uh -huh. pasado participio, pasado simple, pero este, no sé, o sea, para la identificación de... Ajá, listen, listen. Eh, en sí, eh, Fátima, y esto va a sonar un tanto así como que sad, triste, pero uh -huh. para identificar el pasado y pasado participio de los verbos es, uh -huh. es, es básicamente aprendiéndonos. Los, en especial los verbos irregulares. Porque los verbos regulares, digamos que son un tanto sencillos. Y ahora Ajá. le voy a explicar por qué. Check this. Tenemos acá regular verbs. Y en esta Ajá. parte acá vamos a colocar irregular verbs. Bien. Los regular verbs que le agregamos para el pasado y pasado participio. Look. Generalmente se le agregan ED o IED o IED. All right. O a veces simplemente una D. Like this. Como terminación. ¿Por qué? Vaya. Porque este tipo de verbos esa es su estructura. Por ejemplo, tenemos, mire, el verbo play. Uh -huh. Tenemos el verbo dance, tenemos el verbo study, tenemos el verbo, let me see, watch. Y así sucesivamente hay muchos verbos. Vaya, ¿qué sucede en este caso? Cuando son verbos regulares, la gran mayoría simplemente se les coloca ed. We write them down just ed. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo play. ¿Qué hacemos acá? Look. ED. Played. Play. Y este verbo funciona el mismo, el, la misma estructura. Funciona como pasado simple y pasado participio. Los dos tiempos. Eso es lo sencillo de los verbos regulares. Actúan en las dos formas. No cambia la estructura. ¿Ok? Sí. En las uh -huh. dos. El verbo dance. ¿Qué hacemos con este verbo? Look. Simplemente le agregamos la D. D. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en E. Simplemente agregamos D. Vaya, ahora bien. Ahora pasa algo, algo con este verbo study. Listen up. Todo verbo que termine en Y. Y sea regular. Que termine en Y. Y antes de la Y vaya una consonante, el ver, al verbo se le va a eliminar la Y y se le va a colocar IED. We're going to write mm -hmm. IED. Example. Look. Al verbo study le vamos a colocar studied con IED at the end. Ok. I will be like that. Ok. Recordemos que solamente sucede con verbos que terminan en Y y antes de la Y va una, 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 una consonante. Cuando lleva una vocal, eso no sucede. Mire, acá tenemos el verbo play. Termina en Y, pero antes de la Y va una vocal. ¿Qué sucede ahí? Simplemente agregamos ED. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Good. Tenemos watch. Simplemente agregamos ED. Y ahí tenemos, mire, las dos formas. Pasado, pasado, participio. Supongamos que acá tenemos el pasado participio. Look. Play. 
danced. And here we have studied. And here we have watched. Ahora bien, ¿qué sucede con los verbos irregulares? Ah, aquí es lo complicado eh, de cierta manera, lo tedioso. Why? Porque acá generalmente lo que hacemos es cambiar las tres formas del verbo. Verbo. Ajá, aquí su estructura suele cambiar drásticamente. Vaya, tenemos verbos irregulares, por ejemplo, tenemos, mire, wake up, tenemos eat, tenemos, let's see, do, tenemos el verbo mm, send, tenemos el verbo, oh, let's see, another one, um, something easy, what, come, all right, vamos a quedarnos con esto, ¿qué sucede mm -hmm. acá? ¿Qué sucede acá? Listen up. Acá algunos de ellos suelen cambiar en las tres formas, otros no. Por ejemplo, tenemos wake up, despertarse. Woke up es el pasado simple. Uh -huh. Now, what happened with the past participle? ¿Cómo sería el pasado participio? ¿Alguna vez lo ha visto? No, teacher. ¿Nothing? No. O tal vez sí, pero no, 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 no recuerdo. You don't remember. Y que creo que, ajá, creo que eso es lo complicado de esos verbos. Que las tres formas cambian. Yes, they, they literally change completely. All right. Just this way, this way around. Check, check that out. Do you think is that that's completely? So you see? Sometimes it's like this. And sometimes it's like this. Look. A veces cambiamos la por la O, like this. Walking. Wait, walk, walking. Right? So, entonces, la tercera forma. ¿Cómo sería la traducción? Fátima. ¿Qué es wake up, Fátima? Levantar. ¿Mm? Levantarse. Despertarse. Despertarse. Ajá. Se desper despertó. Ajá. Pasado simple. ¿Y el pasado participa? despierto no, no sé ¿Eh? Eh, es, en ese caso walking es like, eh, en este caso es como despertado o sea, despertado. despertado yes, weird, right? medio raro, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. but, that's sí, es raro. but that's the translation ok, ahora, eat Mira esto. La forma pasada de eat, ate. Si ¿Sí ve, cambia, cambia. O sea, la, las palabras uh -huh. pueden cambiarse. Ok. Y el pasado participio es lo mismo, solamente que le agregamos en. Eaten. Tenemos do. La que es. Do. Tenemos deal, la forma pasada. Y la pasada participia, done. Tenemos send, hay verbos que no cambian en las dos formas del pasado. Por ejemplo, acá, mire. Sent. 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 Igual. Ajá, no, 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 no sufre otro cambio. Come. Came. Come. Por eso es que al grupo mandé un PDF 
con listas Ajá, de verbos yo irregulares. ¿Por qué? Porque esos son los que tienen, los que, digamos, suelen causarnos un tanto más de problemas. Los verbos regulares, como le mencionaba, no tanto, porque no cambian su estructura. Es poco uh -huh. lo que se les agrega, pero en cambio los irregulares, sí. Así es la manera en cómo los hacemos. Y ahora bien, ¿cómo identificarlos? Pues ahí, practicándolos. Practicándolos, poco a poco. Yes, step by step. Y pues obviamente, ¿verdad? No es que se va a la tarea de prenderse 10, 15, 20 en un día, porque básicamente así no funciona. Sino uh -huh. que simplemente es, digamos, yendo tal vez uno por día, ¿ok? O, o practicando poco a poco. Y así es la manera en cómo, eh, digamos, de manera así como sin, sin pensarlo, digamos, ya vamos a reconocer cuando un verbo es regular y cuando es irregular. Cuando uno es irregular. Ok. A través uh -huh. de la práctica. Yes. Sí, creo que ajá, lo más complicado es los irregulares. Ahí es donde sí. hay que tener atención. Sí, la, son los más complicados, de hecho. Pero, si, digamos, los mantenemos practicando, like doing sentences, creating sentences, digamos que al final nos va a resultar un tanto sencillo al final. Sí. A través sí, de la práctica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Claro está. Yes. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta con relación a, a, a otro aspecto, ya sea los verbos o algo más, Fátima. No, teacher, creo que no. Eh, la clase de ayer creo que la puedo revisar en, ah, en, en, en la plataforma, yes. porque creo que había un yes. vocabulario, estaba escuchando yo. En... Uh -huh. Sí, dimos, digamos un amplio vocabulario relacionado a, las, a la a industria. Yes. Sí, ahí aparece, uh -huh. ya está habilitado, de hecho, el video. Uh -huh, ahí. Ok, ajá, el fin de semana entonces lo voy a tratar de revisar. Ah, perfecto. Uh -huh. Perfecto, Fátima. So, ¿Algo más? En lo que no, solamente eso. Ah, ok, perfecto, Fátima. Entonces, nos vemos el próximo lunes. Okay? Gracias, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Adiós, good gracias. Bye, bye. Gracias igual. Feliz fin de okay. semana. Bye, bye. Adiós. Bye.